Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest was raised in a mobile home by his grandparents in South Carolina and against all odds went on to become the first African-American chair of the South Carolina Democratic Party. Yes, mm -hmm. and now he is running against Lindsey Graham for his United States Senate seat. Please welcome U.S. Senate Democratic candidate from South Carolina, my mama's hometown, Jamie Harrison. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Jamie. Yes. Yes. No, I know you have roots here in Georgia. Yeah. Did you call your mother today? No, I did not. <laughs> uh oh. Well, listen, you know when you call your mom, she wants to she wants to make sure you can go out to eat. She yes. wants to, and I need to go back home. Right. My, my, my wife is like, you you have not been home long enough, so I just need to go in, come out, and then go back home with my boys. You, you got a lot of work. You do need to go home, but yes. you got a lot of work to do. Yes. Yes. In yes. fact, you got a big fight ahead, ahead of yourself. Uh, you're going up against Lindsey Graham. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Been in office for 17 years. Wow. What indeed is your strategy and how are you going to win this? Well, you know, folks tell me all the time, they say, Jamie, this is a tough hill to climb. But I tell folks back, you know, this is a hill worth climbing. Mm -hmm. no, this, certainly. this is a guy who's been in Washington for over 20 years. He's mm. been in the Senate for 17, but over 20 years in Washington, D.C. But he epitomizes why people hate politics, mm -hmm. because he focuses on himself and not on the people of South Carolina. And there's so many issues that we have to deal with in my home state. Uh, and, and Lindsey, rather, he's golfing with the president or he's flying on Air Force One. He hasn't done a town hall in almost three years. Oh, that's wow. unacceptable. Unacceptable. Wow. And so that's why it's time for a change. And, and we are building this grassroots movement. We're, we're, uh, I'm standing on the shoulders of the Stacey Abrams and Absolutely. the Andrew yes. Gillums. Yes. Uh, and we're about to see the emergence of what I call the New South. And I'm really excited about yes. that. Yes. What's so different about you? If, I, if a person just didn't know anything about either of you, yeah. what's so different about you? The difference is that, you know, my life has basically been the American dream. Mm -hmm. I came from, my mom was 16 when she had me. I was raised by my grandparents. We didn't have a whole lot. I remember mornings waking up, going to get a bowl of cereal and going to get milk, but there's no, no milk, milk in the fridge. Mm -hmm. and, and so I put water in my cereal, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I've seen, I know what poverty looks like, smells like, tastes like. I've experienced it my whole yeah. life. But at the same time, there's been hope and there's yes, been opportunity. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I've been able to live the American dream. And what I want is, I want all little round-headed boys and girls like me <laughs> who've grown up in South Carolina to get that same type of opportunity. Yes. And right now they don't have it. Right. Explain to us the significance of the South Carolina Senate win, yes. if you win, because um, first of all, 17 years, no. That's off the chain. Yeah. That that just said, that just spells change all day long. <laughs> Somebody know. need to change that anyway. But there's an opportunity for this to be for the state to be flipped if this win happens. Talk to us about that and talk to us about how many points this will be for the Electoral College yes. as well. So listen, this would be a game changer for the state of South Carolina, but also for the South in general. Mm -hmm. I am so tired of folks taking the South for granted. Mm -hmm. But but this is it. When I win, because yes. you got to claim it, Come on. when right. I win, I, heard that. I will be, South Carolina will be the first state that has two African-American senators serving at the same time. Mm -hmm. And this is a seat that was once occupied by Strom Thurmond. Mm -hmm. This was also a seat occupied by someone you may not know. His name is Ben Pitchfork Tillman. This guy, back in the early 1900s, would go to the floor of the United States Senate and talk about the joy of lynching black people. Mm -hmm. And so this will be historic for our state, but it'll be historic for the region as well. And so I'm really excited. And for the first time in a long time, we will have somebody in Washington, D.C. who understands the hardships that people are facing yeah. and is focused each day and every night on addressing those. How do you continue to maintain the integrity with, you know, with down and dirty politics mm -hmm. and knowing that you have to play the game, but still stand your ground as a father yes. and a black man? How do you play both fairly well, and equally in balance? It is that good home training my grandma my grandfather gave me, right? Which is, Jamie, my grandfather would always say, he said, your name and your reputation are things that money can't buy. It sure yeah. is. And, and, uh, and he would say they would also work more than all the gold in Fort Knox. And so I go in each and every day knowing that I have to be a role model for my boys, for, for the young boys and girls growing up in South Carolina, because they need to see a strong African-American man who can stand up uh, who, with dignity and honor. And so that's what I'm focused on. Real quick, how are you tapping into those young voters and yes. making sure they're getting out and, and understanding what's going on in the political process? Well, we're building a new movement here, 
and part of this movement is understanding that the black vote itself is not a monolith, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you, younger African Americans and older African Americans want different things because yeah. of their experiences are different. And so one, one of the things that we're doing is we're trying to create an opportunity and space for everybody. So one of the things we are focused on is an effort called Harrison Helps, which basically puts us in the community and we do service projects in the community and a lot of young people, they don't like the regular door knocking, they don't like the phone calls, right. but they love service. They love going to know that the work that they are doing is benefiting people right now and not something down, mm -hmm. down the road. Mm -hmm. And so we are creating those opportunities and at the same time, we're talking about the issues that are important to them. Yes. We're talking mm -hmm. about student loan debt. You know, mm -hmm. I graduated with $160,000 debt. Yeah. My wife has 90,000. That's $250,000. That's a nice yeah. house in Orange Yes, yes. All right. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> Right, right, right. Yeah. We're going to have much more with Jamie Harrison when we return. Yeah. We are back on Sister Circle Live with U.S. Senate Democratic candidate Jamie Harrison. Yes. yes. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Okay. Right now in the climate, they are saying... <laughs> that uh, the African-American vote is being taken for granted. Mm. What say you about that? Well, listen, for years it has been, mm -hmm. to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I have this ad out about this dirt road and meeting this elderly African-American man. And in essence, what he says to me, he says, son, you know, I've been living on this dirt road my entire life and Democrats and Republicans, none of them have paid my dirt road. Mm -hmm. And so that mm -hmm. is symbolic of the broken promises that we have seen from all parties. And what I am trying to do is to show and not tell. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I can't just go into these communities and make the same type of promises and expect mm -hmm. a different outcome. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are going into these communities now, and that's why Harrison Helps is so important, because people are seeing me uh, uh, deliver groceries, help kids get school supplies. We're doing things in the community right now before I get elected to U.S. Senate. And I want folks to say, well, listen, if he's doing that right now, then just Think of what he will do once he's in, in the United mm -hmm. States Senate. Mm -hmm. Okay, today today is Super Tuesday, yes. and we are still looking for that Democratic nominee for president. But I, I do want to uh, to sway just a little yeah. bit. These early voters and uh, the, the Super Tuesday voters, now, if they go to these polls and they vote for their nominee now, but they drop their candidacy and have to wait till November in order for us to, to go ahead and vote. Now, should that dissuade people from voting early? Uh, mm. Folks need to vote now. Listen, if you don't vote, then you are in essence saying to the person, say you pick the person you don't like the most and that person goes and vote. Mm -hmm. In essence, you are giving your power over to that person to, to influence what happens in your life, the life of your family, the life uh, of the, those folks who live in your communities. Mm -hmm. It is our power, it is our obligation, and so you have to think about the world that you want, and you have to take the power to make that world. And that means you go and you exercise your right to vote. Absolutely, now you've been mm -hmm. able to raise a record amount of money especially for an African-American candidate, $7 million. What was your, how'd you do it? How'd you get all the money, <laughs> Mr. Harrison? Oh my God. Well, a lot of it was online, so folks go to jamieharrison.com. Oh, come on. <laughs> 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 we, we always need a little more. Right. But, but really, it's about you know having somebody like Lindsey Graham you're running against, and at the same time giving people hope. Yeah. Folks are just fed up. You yeah. know, when they yeah, turn absolutely. on their TV, when they open up the newspaper, listen to the radio, all they hear is hatred and vitriol and division. And people are just looking for somebody who can be hopeful and aspirational. This election is about that. It's about bringing hope back to my people in South Carolina, but across the country. Yes. Our state motto is, while I breathe, I hope. Oh, I while I, I breathe, like I hope. And hope is what got, has gotten me through the, all of the hardships, that hope and faith. But at the same time, we all know what the Bible says, faith without works is, is dead. dead. Yes. <laughs> so, so, so the work we got to do is go to the polls, y'all. That's right. what we need to do. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Well, listen, Jamie, you um, are running on the message of hope. We yes. know that. And I, just listening to you, I, see, I hear what you're doing for uh, the African-American communities there in South Carolina. What are you doing to possibly sway someone who may be unsure mm -hmm. or someone who just may be completely against 
against you. Yeah. What are you doing to kind of overturn that ideology? So this is a frame by which I'm running. I tell, I tell folks all the time, this is not about Democrat versus Republican. It's not about progressive versus conservative. It's about what's right versus what's wrong. Mm -hmm. In South Carolina right now, we've had four of our rural hospitals that have closed over the past few years. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, there were 14 counties in South Carolina where there were no OBGYNs. Mm -hmm. Think about what? that, what? 46 counties, 14, no OBGYNs. Healthcare, childcare is is so rare in some of these rural communities. And so what we are doing is focusing like a laser on these issues that people are dealing with right now. Yeah. And so what I hope is that it, when I go into these halls and where they're Democrats and Republicans and independents, that people say, you know, this guy isn't about politics mm -hmm. uh, as normal or the Washington DC grime. He's about focusing on the issues on how all of our lives can be improved. Mm -hmm. well, what, are, what are you hoping that our Democratic president a candidate has I need those candidates to do what we're doing right now speak to the heart mm. you know sometimes we get all caught up here with all the issues that well my policy does this and that. you know people in the end of the day want to feel like they can trust you that they can feel that you are going to fight for them mm -hmm. for their families and their communities yes. and that is what I'm focused on and I hope our candidate whomever that may be yes. will eventually do the same yes. um, last but not least I wish I could just say senator. <laughs> <laughs> soon, soon. We're, we're just gonna say it. Last but not least, um, what is the deciding factor? Well, what is the what is going to be the X factor to get the people out to the polls? We can talk, 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 but what do we what do we need to do to get people out? To well, the polls? I want the particularly the African Americans in South Carolina to understand the power that they have. Barack Obama lost the state by 150,000 mm. votes. There are right now 400,000 unregistered black voters in oh South Carolina, right? There's, for the first time, we have over a million people of color that are registered. They have the power to shape what their state looks like. Yeah. But we have to take that power, and yeah. we have to take that power to the voting booth. And so I hope to talk about those issues, but also to galvanize a sea change in voting in South Carolina. I like you. I, I just got to say real quick, you've already seen what Lindsey Graham has done. You, and, you, you Just per the stats. Mr. That you, Flip Flop. Yeah, what you said, there no OBGYNs, hospitals are closing for 17 years. Why is he still there? Yes. Come on, let's think about this. This is ridiculous. What he does doesn't the care. Say? What does the research That's say? <laughs> <laughs> well, the research says Jamie Harrison <laughs> is the man, God. in my opinion. Thank you so much for Thank being you. with us today. Thank we you appreciate so you. We appreciate you for what you run for U.S. Yes. Senate. For more information on this incredible man, incredible man, you can follow him on Instagram at Harrison Jamie. Let's give it up one yeah. more time.